Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll uh, understand how we can create an LLM agent in Lang Chains and can use it for custom tasks. So basically, what is an agent? So agent is something you can take it as a chat bot, which is able to uh, perform specific tasks. Now these specific tasks are not just limited to LLM's capabilities, but can interact with API, can interact with tools also. So that is why they are very interesting. So today we'll be creating uh, an agent that would be able to do two tasks. Together, one is like archive query run. That means it should it would be able to search from archive around the uh, latest research papers. Can tell you about what is happening in a particular domain. So it would be around research. Second would be a shell tool. So basically, whatever we ask it to code and all, it will be doing it in shell. So let's get started. Uh, so first of all, you need to pip install langchain open in archive. So archive is basically because we are using the archive query run tool. If you are not using it, you can skip that. Uh, and then we would be importing all the required functions. We'll be using them one by one, telling you how you can use it. Next is like basically I have done this help for langchain.tool so that you can explore what are different tools that are present apart from the two that I'm using. So there are many, many tools that are present GitHub, Gmail, Google search, Bing search, playwriting, CRX search, shell as you say, Spark SQL, SQL databases, Steamship image generation so these are all the pack uh, all the tools that are presented default so eventually if you create an agent he can interact with all these tools for uh, for specific tasks so i here you will be able to see how you can aggregate the tools so first of all we will be making a tool list for the agent that we will be feeding in so for that we will be creating two objects one for archive query run that is papers another shell tool that is shell now uh, we would be creating a tools list which consists of two tool functions which eventually as you can see that we're naming the tool as papers functions papers dot run so basically papers is a variable which is an object for archive query run and then we are giving a description the description is important because when you are giving a prompt so eventually the agent would be querying through all these possible tool lists that is present so here i've used two only you can have 10 20 we can use multiple tools for multiple tasks so depending upon the description it would be choosing the tool to perform the task so next, what we are doing is that we are now designing a prompt. So have a conversation with a human answering the following questions as best you can. You have access to the following tools uh, that becomes a prefix suffix. As you see, it's a bit different and my as compared to my last previous tutorials on Langchain. Here you can see that we are using three variables, chat history, input and agent scratch pad. So chat history is nothing but to provide memory to the agent. So mem by memory, we mean that as you must have been interacting with the free version of chat GPT, it is it doesn't forget its previous answers and questions it do remember that so similar thing would be happening here also that is a way of giving it a chat history input is basically the prompt that we are going to give an agent scratch pad is basically where you can see what the agent is actually doing in the background how it is able to think and coming to a conclusion so here we are designing the prompt using the zero shot agent create prompt so zero shot agent is basically an agent which has no examples to learn from for the particular tools so you haven't provided any examples to the agent to learn for that specific task as and when you give the prompt it will it will be giving you a result tools uh, we are passing a tools list here prefix is prefix suffix is as you can see with three variables and uh, input variables are input chat history and agent scratch pad now conversation buffer memory that we are using we are using using the variable chat history so this is basically done to provide history uh, chat history to the agent so it doesn't mean that key, like if you ask for second question, it's forgetting the response of the first question. So there we ha I have a tutorial explaining in detail how memory is added. You can watch that. Next, we are creating an LLM agent as we are doing uh, like in my previous blogs. Then we are creating a uh, zero shot agent LLM chain in the first step we are creating. Second is a zero shot agent. And then using the combination of the tools and the prompts in the memory, we are creating a final chain. Now we'll be running a first chain uh, with an input suggest the latest development around LLMs. So as you can see that in the scratch pad, I should look for recent research and shell, and shell scripting related to LLMs, right? Action is papers because now out of the two tools that are present papers and shell, it is able to make out that. Okay. This question is related to papers. As you can see here in the name is papers. Now it, now it is going to explore the archive. It is, it is able to get a few papers. And in the, uh, in the final answer, it is giving me this answer. Recent developments around LMs include research papers such as origin of LLMs and test text prototype alignment and mid to activate LLMs and also 
it is able to use that tool now if you go for any uh, like if you go for chat gpt 3.5 eventually you won't be able to get an answer like this specifically it is searching from mark and giving the final results second is code to print hello world and execute hello.py now here you can see that the agent is able to get the action is about shell so here you saw that we are not providing which language it need to code and how to do it eventually it has able to write the whole script write the whole code for us using shell because out of the two available tools that are present shell is the most appropriate one use a shell command python hello.py as you can see there